Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to XCOM The Long War. Alright, let's continue where we left off, which means we need to spin the globe. Now, we do have that covert op coming up. Where's that at? Three days. So, here's kind of the game plan, folks. We really want to do... Oh, hey! New weapons recruit corporal for five sectoid commander corpses. Uh, not now. Hold on. So, the deal is, we need to do this Exalt base raid before the end of the month. Like, I really want to do it. I want to get rid of Exalt, I want to get the special item. So we're for sure going to do that, which means we've got to do a little bit of planning here in terms of who's going to go. So I promised, because he had requested it, that Bill would lead that mission in particular. So let's take a look. Six days. Yeah, that should be fine. He should be back. He should be back as well as most of that crew. It shouldn't be any problem. And then who's coming out of the infirmary? Oh, we got Eve back in a day. That's nice. And we've got Delirium back in four. We've got Dozer back in seven. We're actually finally starting to get these soldiers back. That's that's really nice. Okay, good. All right, well, that should be fine. So we'll handle whatever comes up as we spin the globe. We'll have to handle the covert op, which it would appear that we've got plenty of soldiers to handle that. And then we'll do the Exalt uh, HQ. Now, what we're not, probably not going to do, however, is this uh, alien base assault in Germany. I, I don't see us doing that. Maybe, but I doubt it. Before the end of the month, it seems like that's just going to be too much to, to take on. Now, I did add a couple more things to our build list. I added, I think, another pulse rifle. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's the only other thing I added that maybe you guys hadn't seen. Okay, let's check our... Scilabs. We want to add anyone to the Scilabs. I don't think so. Maybe Stafford? So that he can use, um, yeah, so he can use psionic equipment. Causes attackers, hmm. Causes damage to psi attackers, puts all psi attacks on cooldown, does not reduce chance of attack, protects scion and nearby allies who will pass will check. No, I think, I think mind free. Yeah, it's still more useful. We can always pull him out of here too if we need to. So eight days, that's fine. If we need, if we need him, we'll grab him. It's not like the gene lab. You put somebody in the gene lab, and then they're you know they're stuck in there until they're done. Uh oh, Glenn's back. Okay. What's up, Friday? I actually do want him trained as well. Yep, yeah, okay, so we'll send him. And then, let's take a look real quick at... Gene Lab, two days for Alex to come out. All right. Aircraft transfer complete. Aircraft transfer complete. That should be the other firestorm in Europe. And it is, so now we just need to rearm. For now, with laser cannons, but we'll be upgrading that soon. Our first pulse rifle, first pulse weapon. Illyrium generator complete. Nice, Illyrium generator online. So we have a bunch of power. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. And we're gonna put in a workshop right here. I think we'll hold off on building anything else for now. We'll put a workshop here. We'll probably put one here as well. It gives us a nice uh, little synergy there. Uh, the hyperwave relay is going to go down here. And then the gallop chamber will probably go up top over here. And down here we'll build another Alarium generator if we need it. We may not. 
I don't remember the power requirements, but I think we're in the clear there. Okay, where's that covert op at? One day? All right. Success with Robert. Okay. Let's toss somebody else in there then. Shade? No. Uh, well. No. Actually, we'll hold off on that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We'll hold off on that. We could send Bill. Let's send Bill. Distortion field or science inspiration. Well, they move up a lot, so actually, I think I will go with science. Science inspiration's really good. It's really, really good. Okay, Alex has completed gen mods. Okay, so what do you have now? Depth Perception and Secondary Heart, which is basically what you needed. Okay, now... Where is Wolfric? Are you still... Fatigued, dude? Yeah, for two days. Alright, I'm gonna leave that spot open in there, then. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that gene mod, uh, spot open. In the lab. I need to send Wolfric for, uh, Jumpy Legs. Okay, let's see. Send. Excellent. Oh, full team. We look forward to seeing your progress. Really? Really? <laughs> All right, let me put a team together and we'll head out for that covert op. See you in a sec. Okay, so I know we were going to jump into uh, the mission, into the bomb disposal mission, but it occurred to me that I actually hadn't shown the results of the community poll that went out on the 24th about how to handle the, the end game. So take a look here. It was kind of it was kind of interesting to me. I, it was not what I expected, actually. Um, the comments that you guys gave and the advice that you gave, it was very, uh, very thoughtful. Um, and I appreciate you taking the time, as always, to do something like that. But let's see here. So we have, as you can see, the, the you know, the the winner, so to speak, option D was to stay flexible, play defensively and wait for a tech advantage, like kind of wait for an opportunity to really exploit the aliens. And I didn't think you guys were gonna go for that at all. Um, I pretty much figured that everybody would be like, no, go after every alien bull, every single alien base, Mal, and show us every minute of it. And there was, you know, a fair amount of people that did vote for that. Um, but I thought it was interesting that uh, it was like, no, go ahead and have the campaign potentially be longer, um, but be flexible and play defensively. So I've given it a lot of thought and that's likely what I'll do. Now, by choosing to do that, there's a couple things we have to consider. One, this might not work out for us. We could ultimately lose. Um, and I, I don't want to say I'm okay with that, but let's face it, from a canon perspective, that would dovetail nicely into our XCOM 2 campaign, um, which will begin in February um, of 2016, right? So I'm recording this. Uh, towards the end of December of 2015, so we've got a couple of months here uh, before XCOM 2 shows up. And I think it's also interesting um, to note uh, that there will be characters, uh, if they live, if they live, that's the caveat, that will move from this season of Long War into XCOM 2. And I've already started having conversations uh, with, uh, you know, some of the long-term people that have been through uh, this whole experience with me and have sort of key starring characters uh, in this campaign, they will be in XCOM 2 um, and they'll be older. They'll be 20 years older, so I'll make them look aged and potentially be scarred and whatnot. And uh, we're going to do some, some kind of interesting and fun things with that. So I look forward to that. And, and the reason I mention that is because I've gotten a lot of questions about, well, what about XCOM 2? Are you going to do it? I, I think I've made it clear I'm an XCOM guy. So I will absolutely be playing XCOM 2 as soon as I possibly can. Um, and uh, so, yeah, no doubt, no doubt that that will, will happen. But I just kind of wanted to give you the landscape of what's going to occur. So if we play, do this play defensively thing, that means that... Could we get it done before XCOM 2? I think so. 
I, th I think so, but they don't call it Long War for nothing. Um, the first season of Long War went longer than it should have because I was still learning Long War as a mod, um, but that still took 11 months and 8 days. Yeah, go back and check. It took 11 months and 8 days, so the fact that we're even this far along because we set it to Dynamic War and because I know obviously more about how to progress through Long War has kind of sped this campaign up, but uh, two months? I don't know if we'll be done or not. I really don't, so... Uh, I'm going to go with this because I think this is the best option. You know, stay flexible, play defensively, and wait for a tech advantage. Agreed. So that's what we're going to do. But I just wanted everybody to know what the repercussions of that potentially could be and when the campaign went in. Now, if the campaign's still going on in February, I'll just play both. <laughs> I have no problems playing both. I could, I could do that. I can make that work somehow. I'll figure it out. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that, and then I will, I'm going to make a quick cut. Um, I've already got a team on standby, I think, and we'll jump into uh, what will be the first part of the council mission, depending on how long the council mission goes. Okay, so I'll see you in a sec. All right, let's take a look at the team. Excellent. Starting off on the left, we've got uh, Void going as our engineer. Aegis armor, Gauss rifle, pistol sidearm, a set of chem grenades, and double set of smoke grenades. And actually, hmm, I know I've got some chem, gra chem grenades in the group too, somewhere. Helsing, are you carrying those? Let me just double check this before we... thought I had two sets of chem grenades. Hold on, let's see if my second set's available. It is. Mmm. All right, we'll grab that. That makes sense, I think. Well, or does it? This is a council mission. Oh, this is a tough decision, actually. Actually, I'm gonna go with Flash, because we're gonna have Thin Men in this mission, and they're immune, right? But they're not immune to Flashbangs. Alright, so next we've got Jack Jarrett, aka the Hammer, Titan Armor, Gauss Auto Rifle, Armor Piercing Ammo, a Respirator Implant, and a Scope. Next we've got Alex, Aegis Armor, Gauss Long Rifle, Pistol Sidearm. Do we want to give you an Auto Pistol? Yeah, let's do it. Neural Gun Link, Alloy Bipod, and High Capacity Mags. Next we've got, uh... Hero, aka Abyss Wolf, as our infantry officer. Speaking of which, speaking of officers, um, I am going to do the officer training school upgrade soon as I can. I mean, obviously, I have a lot of different things I got to pay for, but that's on my list, and there's quite a few different soldiers I need to promote. Okay, so Titan Armor, he's got the pulse rifle, pistol sidearm, motion tracker, flak ammo, and a scope. There we go, Master Sergeant Wu going as our scout, Titan Armor, Alloy Strike Rifle, Laser Pistol Sidearm, some new Psy Grenades, which essentially are the upgraded flashbangs. Yeah, they're quite nice. Yep. So we'll get to test these out. Chameleon Suit and a Marksman Scope. Next, we've got GB. Aegis Armor, Gauss Carbine, Pistol Sidearm, Alloy Plating, a Med Kit, and an Alien Grenade. Why two scouts? Uh, because I need to be fast moving, so you'll see that I'm bringing along people that I can rush forward to deactivate bomb nodes for me. Next, we've got Helsing, Aegis Armor, Gauss Rifle, Pistol Sidearm, Respirator Implant, Med Kit, and... A scope. Let's take a look at gene mods. Yeah, I really need to send her to the gene lab. Yeah, that's on the list of things to do as well. And then last but not least, we've got Sarah Smith, aka Big Bang, as our rocketeer. Carapace armor, yeah, I know. <laughs> Carapace armor, Gauss stutter gun, uh, re recoilless rifle, a rocket, a shredder rocket, and a scope. Okay, one last look. It's a pretty strong group. It's not obviously not the strongest group I could take, but it's really uh, pretty beefy, I think. Should be able to handle this, or so I hope. Touching down. France is sending an urgent mission. Oh, whoa! Really? This map? 
Okay, it's it, this map is a little bit touchy, um, principally because it's very small, very small, and very narrow. It's it's practically impossible not to have multiple uh, group uh, encounters at a time. We've just detected a massive plasma. Well, we got decent uh, we got area. decent placement of bomb you nodes anyway. Charging that thing and it blows. We're looking at mass casualties across the city. Okay, let's see. We have a new objective. How far do we want to go? That's that's the question. Yeah. Well, I could move here. Potentially see a group, which would be bad. Okay. All right, let's move here. Oh darn it! I was hoping we wouldn't encounter anything. I could use the motion tracker. Well, now we kind of have to engage, which is, you know, not ideal, but we'll make it work. Move. Let's move up and get some visibility. Mm-hmm. Oh, flanked. That's a nice position for them to be in. Uh, sniper shots. Here and here. Okay. How do we want to handle this? That's a good question. How indeed. Okay, we're on the zone wall over here, so what I could do... Slide out over here with Wu. Take that shot. There you go. Nice shot, Wu. Okay, and then... Okay. Move Alex over here, and just steady weapon back here. Yep, and then okay. move up. Mm-hmm, right there. And move up. Yeah, I could take this shot. I'm tempted to. I probably will, actually. Yep, and you move back. Okay, grab that bomb node. No, grab that bomb node. There we go, good. And then... Well done. Node is deactivated. What's your chance to hit there? Okay, hold that thought. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful because I really... I want to get through this mission without soldiers getting beat up too, you know, badly. You know, ideally. Okay, Overwatch. More Overwatch. Some more Overwatch. There we go. Toss a smoke grenade here. So they'll probably get hit with acid from the other than men. That's what I'm thinking will happen. But it's not guaranteed, right? Nice shot, Helsing. Uh, no, continue the mission. I don't want to abort the mission. Don't be silly. Okay, thin man moving up. The others that aren't in cover should not be somebody he can shoot at. Three damage? That's not bad at all, considering it's a thin man. Okay, and we have floaters. Are you active? Yep, you're active. Okay, reaction shots up. Nice hit. We're actually in okay-ish shape for this. Okay, it would be good if nothing else activated, though. Come on, now. No, it looks like it's going to activate, too. All right, well. So much for that being in decent positioning. Nice shot. Okay, so what do we got active here? Three Thin Men, two Seekers, three Floaters, one Heavy Floater. Okay. 61% there. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. Can't see the big guy over there. That's problematic. 
Okay, Wu's got a shot there. Can't hit, can't hit anyone else, huh, Wu? Hmm. We're kind of in a pretty pickle here. I could move here. We need these guys to be gone. That's that's what we need. So let's check our rocket options here. Our rocket options are not idyllic. To say the least. We can launch this way. We're going to have a lot of exposure if that happens. I've got no cover, no decent cover to get to. Wow. All right. Well. I could. OK, I think the play here is shift and. Or can you throw that? Not far enough. We could flashbang the Thin Man to our left. It's an option. It's it's not ideal. Moving to position. Take that shot. I'm targeting up. Good. Mm-hmm. Slide over. Well, that the heavy has to die. That's a that's that's a given. It has to go. There we go. X-ray down. Okay, now we can move Wu. Uh, the question is where. We've got nowhere good to put him. Which kind of sucks, actually. Mm. How about Sniper? I could clear some of these guys out. 100%. 100%. 100% oh, 100% right there. Hi! Good shot. And if you could finish him, please. Yeah, nice job, Alex. Alright, so the other big floater's gone. So we're making progress here. We're making progress. Okay, now. That's you. That's you. Okay, so you actually are going to suppress that thin man. Good job. Mm-hmm. And Jack. Affirmative. Shoot that guy. We don't. Ah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yep, that ended up being the right decision. Nice. Okay, and I'd like to take that shot, but if I can kill that stupid seeker with anyone else. And it looks like I might be able to. Nope. It's off. Alright, well, Helsing will have to do it then. Which is unfortunate, because I really wanted to put her on Overwatch. Actually, she should enter Overwatch. Yep. Okay. And I guess we'll move up with our Rocketeer. I really don't want to, though. I, I Actually, I'm going to move her back into this cover point and just steady weapon. She doesn't have much health. Starting to lose ground. So we made the best out of a really bad situation, I think. And this Seeker can come up and do some damage. And this Floater, well, Floater's withdrawing. Okay. Thin man on the corner, it's a thin man leader. Spit? Okay. 
Better than him shooting. I'm fine with that. Overwatched? Really? That's interesting. Strange, but okay. Where's Wu? Come here, Wu. I think what we do here is we actually just go ahead and... Oh, you can't, because you're the acid. Dang it! Try rocket range here. No, nope, not quite far enough. Yeah, positioning is just really, really bad here. Okay, let's go ahead and reload. Mm. Well, I need options, so we're going to move Wu up to draw the Overwatch. So I can't move the other scout. Okay, 2% chance. Almost looked like that shot hit Alex, right? Like, what? No, you are not allowed to do that. Headed there now. Okay, and flashbang both of them? No, I can't get both of them. All right, well then let's flashbang that guy. He's dangerous, because he's probably got squad sight, actually. I should check that in a second. I will. Okay, we're gonna slide over here. Oh, the stalker. Dang it. Well, he missed. That was good, because that was a, certainly a mistake on my... Oh no, it was cloaked! I couldn't have done anything about it anyway. Right, we already ran the overwatch for this guy. This little sneaky guy was hiding. Okay, got it. I'm rolling. Okay, move up here with Jack. Target here, target here. See, what I was hoping is that I'd have someone that could suppress this Thin Man, and I don't. Unless... No, that's not in range. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Well, gonna move up like this then. And... We're gonna have to move back and take the damage and just get out of line of sight. Okay, so we've got this guy up here and this guy in here. Let's get rid of the guy over here. Really? Wow. That's, that was pretty bad, actually. Well, okay, try to get rid of that guy, I guess. Nope, no dice. Okay. Getting serious now. Okay, reaction shot, 91%. Nice shot, Helsing. I'm running low on ammo. That floater coming back. Be best if it stayed away for a little while. Okay, this one's flashbang, so he's not gonna be able to do, hopefully, very much. Oh, another one, okay. Really need to get my Rocketeer up here. Acid, okay. Pretty sure that person's in Titan armor, but we'll see. And I still need to check if this... I don't think this guy's got squad sight. I was going to check that, but if he did, surely he would have used it already. Okay, is this guy going to fire? No. All right. Let's see. Is she in Titan armor? No, she's not. She's not in Titan Armor. She's in Aegis. Okay. Well, can she reach anything? Nope. Doesn't look like that. She could still suppress something, potentially. 
Uh, I don't know if the acid damage will break that suppression. It probably will. See him and can see him. Can you mind fray him? 44% chance. Okay, so that's an option. I'm not saying it's what we're going with, but it's an option. We can see here. Oh, we can suppress with this guy. Okay, so we may do that then. All right, let's see. Reload. Can you kill him? Maybe. Well, you'd have to hit first. Okay, good damage. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. You have a med kit. Interesting. Hmm. You know what? Move up. Incoming over here. No problem. Right. She's a scout. Okay, now, can you throw a grenade? No. Got a decent shot right there, though. Nice. So I guess if you've got, uh, yeah, it's partial immunity to acid, right? If you've got the med kit, so I guess that's the deal with her. She could move without taking damage, but she still had the debuffs of the acid. I guess that makes sense. Ish. All right, take a shot there, Wu. Wow, these Seekers are... Oh, damn it. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. I'm thinking the same thing. Chances of killing that guy. Well, let's go for it. Nice! Good job, Jack. Okay, now... There we go, take that shot. That's the indestructible Seeker, apparently. Let's dash up here, because our Rocketeer's been sort of a non-factor this whole time, so... Hmm. Do we wait and do Sentinel, or do I take the shot? I think I take the shot. There we go, Seeker down, nice. Don't worry, we'll we'll click on a bomb node. I know there's people going like, "What the hell are you doing, Mal? Gotta get a bomb node." We will, we will. Not to worry. Okay. Hello, seeky, sneaky seeker. That bomb is going to reach full power any minute now. All right, so let's move here. Grab this. Light this thing up like a Christmas tree. There we go. Alright, and then... Yeah, you dash up here so I can actually utilize you next turn, hopefully. Okay, you... Uh, hmm. Push inside, or... Probably not. Probably shift over here. Grab this node and then hunker. It seems you've bought yourself some time, but you still need to hurry or well, you know. Let's go up here with Wu. Take a look around. He's got super jumpy legs. Okay, and reposition our sniper. Just a little bit. And reload. Let's rock. Okay, and I'm a little afraid her cover is going to disappear on her, but I don't really have uh, anywhere great to put her. Not, not really. I guess I could go inside to here. She should be out of line of sight if that thin man. No, if that thin man comes back, she's going to be right in his line of fire. 
And all this stuff's on fire, so I'm concerned that that's gonna go. What do we have active? One thin man, one floater. She can get hit from either direction. Uh, can anyone cover her? Yeah, technically you can. So, Overwatch right here. And you can as well. Makes me feel slightly better about it. Alright, let's move back. Yep, here comes that floater, and here's the reaction shot, so if these don't hit... This guy's gonna get a flank, that's one shot. I'm afraid of this. Second shot. But I didn't need to worry because they're on it. <laughs> nice. Good shooting. Good shooting. Okay, now. Looks like the acid's gone. Let's move in. And grab that. Good work. That'll buy us a little more time. Okay, let's, let's move. Bomb. Let's move Wu up. Staying concealed. I don't see the bomb. Is that uh, no, that's not it. Anyone see it? Raise your hand if you see the bomb. Uh, I don't see it. And we need to set up properly for it, so that's a bit of a concern, too. Oh, yeah, there'll be all kinds of, like, drop-ins and stuff after we deactivate it, so... Let's bring... let's bring Wu down here. Okay, some Seekers, there's that Thin Man. Okay. Oh, that's... wow, that's pretty, isn't it? Okay, what are you? A Stalker? And what are you? A Seeker. Okay, Mr. Stalker. Meet... Mr. Precision Shot. Obviously not Alex. Alex is not, you know, I meant the weapon itself, right? That's a girl, Mel. I know what it is. I don't need you to tell me. They're moving around the side. And that's two. Nice. Okay, who else we got? Uh, let's see. Hero's got a shot. Nice. Okay, let's overwatch. Let's see, is there a window there? No, there's not. Alright, let's move in a little bit then. Okay, move up to this corner, because we know that thin man was like down over there last turn. It should be okay to move here. And if not, Stafford can take a hit, right? So, overwatch. And let's see, you're gonna dash. One seeker, one thin man. Okay, you're gonna dash up. And you're gonna grab that bomb note over there for us next turn. Mm hmm. And we're gonna put Sarah on this corner. Looked like she was gonna run like into the inside of that truck for a second. Okay, stealth mode. Fair enough, Seeker. Fair enough. Alright, so I'm actually going to go ahead and end this one here. No, Mel! Don't do it! No, no! Yeah, I'm going to end this one here because there was a lot of like other stuff that we discussed at the first part of the video. So we'll pick this up in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider hitting the thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I am Mal, and I will see you later.